So let's find the surface area generated by revolving the graph of y equals x cubed over nine, uh, x between zero and two about the x axis. Well, what we have here is f of x equals something, and we are revolving it about the x axis. So the formula we need to use is that the surface area equals from A to B, two pi f of x and square root of one plus dy dx squared and dx out here. So that's the formula we are gonna be using. So let's start by finding what is our dy dx, what's dy dx squared, and what's one added to that, that we can plug it in. Um, so we know that y equals to uh, one ninth of x cubed. So therefore dy dx equals, uh, three times one ninth is one third. x to the second power. And if I, let um, uh, me go to the next page and say that dy dx squared equals one third of x squared to the second power, that gives me x to the fourth one third um, one times one third is one over nine. Okay, and so uh, I can claim now that the surface area equals from zero to two, two pi f of x was one ninth x cubed, and then square root of one plus x to the fourth over nine, all that dx. Now, okay. Uh, so let's use u substitution. Let's say that let u equals one plus um, one ninth of x to the power of four. And so I have du equals, well, the of one is zero. So then I have four over nine x cubed dx. And so dx equals to nine over four and um, uh, nine over fourth of x cubed uh, du. So let me I'll be using that. So now I have to change the boundaries. We are using u substitution uh, when x equals zero, u equals, let's see, um, one. And when x equals two, u equals uh, 25, over, 25 over nine. So using this information, let me go to the next page and so surface area equals from one to uh, 25 over nine. I had two pi, uh, let's see what did I have in here. So you have two pi over nine x cubed, two pi over nine, x cubed u to the one half and then I had nine over uh, four x cubed du and so x cubed cancels the x cubed and this nine cancels this nine so I'm left with s equals and I can actually cancel this two with this four there's a two in here so I have pi over two uh, integral from uh, one to 25 over nine 
u to the one half du. Okay, sounds good. So that equals pi over two uh, u to the three half times two third, and that is from one to 25 over nine. So uh, the two cancels in here. Let me go actually to the next page. I'm going to have uh, pi over three u to the three half. So s equals pi over three u to the three half uh, from uh, one to 25 over nine. This is the same as saying, uh, instead of u to three half, give me a chance to write uh, u times square root of u. Makes it a little bit easier for me to do my calculation. So that equals pi over three, uh, 25 over nine. Square root of 25 over nine is five there. And then minus when I plug in one, I just get a one. And then I get uh, pi over three times uh, 125 over 27 minus one. So let's see. And so this one, I can rewrite that as, let me do one more step and say that uh, pi over three over uh, times 125 over seven minus uh, 125 over 27 minus uh, 27 over 27, and that gives me pi over three times the 125 minus 27 gives me 98. Uh, and uh, 98 over uh, 27. So I get 98 pi over uh, three times 27, 81. Okay, I'll do another example in a different video. Thanks.